Episode 2 of Season 2 of Toast of Life Podcast. We had to bring the one and only back. Announce yourself so everybody hears you out here. Hello. I am uh, happy to be back. My name is Jackie. Follow me on Instagram, Jackie Haquez. Follow me on Venmo, Jacqueline Haquez. Um, oh, and TikTok, Jackie Haquez. If you haven't seen her, many <laughs> different stories. <laughs> but Dude, we you we have a lot to catch up on. I know. The I last know. time I seen you, uh, dropping off for the cause. Yeah. You know, big yeah. movement that you you yourself bless us with. Yeah. You bless my team. You bless our coaches. Man, appreciate you. Shout out the cause. Shout out to the cause. You started. You just came from there. A whole movimiento. Yeah. What's it called for? The dance class. The dance class. Uh, yeah, so I have a dance class called Sexy Movimiento, and um, basically what it is is like I partnered up with like an actual dancer. Yeah. Like she does like choreography and stuff, and then like my fitness journey, and then we put it together. So we're doing like a, it's like an empowerment class. Like you go, you work out, and then it's like sexy moves, and it's like you know you wanna because us women wanna feel sexy but not sexualized all the time, right? Yeah. And it's also like confidence. It's a confidence booster. You looking at yourself in the mirror and you're like, mmm. Like, yeah, and you're working out, and you feel good after. It's amazing. How so many, that's why I came How from. many people do you have going to your class? Or is there a cap? Is there a limit? No limit? N well, no, I don't think there's a limit. We can we can fit them in. It's a little studio, but um, right now we're getting about, like, it varies. But sometimes, like, 15 people. Sometimes we get, like, 10. Sometimes five. It, but it just started. What, exactly. Sec second just, class? This is our first month doing it. Ooh. Yeah. So what's like your reason behind it? And that's why I wanted you on here because there's so much <laughs> shit that you're doing that <laughs> is just you're you're everywhere I at know. the same time. I know, dude. I feel like I'm all, I'm constantly always doing something cuz I get bored. Yeah. I get so bored of doing the same shit over and over again. Like I need like I need to do be doing something different all the time. Like I need to be Season 1 when we had you, we were talking about uh you were going to start your mentoring. You were going to. Oh, my life coaching. Your life coaching. Yeah. Uh, dude, that was at 12, 1 a.m. And you came. And like I told you the other day, I was like, I've never seen someone come in with 200% energy <laughs> that late at night. I was like, ready. I was like, where we at? <laughs> so why your whole movement, why, why did you take that leap of faith to get into that? Or the, like the, the whole class? movimiento, sexy movimiento. Because, honestly, I love feeling sexy. Like, I fucking love it. But I don't want to feel sexualized all the time. Like, I don't want to be, and it sucks to say, but, like, mo I don't like being sexy around men because it makes me uncomfortable. And I know that there's so many women that feel the exact same way. So, and I'm confident. Like, I love just expressing myself in any way that I can. And, like, movement is just a thing for me. Like, fitness has always been a thing for me. Like, just... Yeah creating moves movement just energy just i love i need to be moving and so um i love to dance dance is a way of an expression yeah. and like a lot of people think that it has to look a certain way to look pretty and i'm like no yeah. dude just move whatever feels good just close your eyes and just fucking move like you're, doesn't you're, matter what you look like you're literally your own hype man yeah yeah, yeah. you a, have to be though you I, have to be you got to follow her ig to see when she goes out she has your fits on and she's just like and i'm mm. like oh mm, i look good <laughs> but i've seen your your latest uh tiktok uh journey is about these ugly vatos that oh, don't know how to act oh my god what the my, fuck is going on there bro my horrible dates oh my god what dude. what season are you in already in no i dates? stopped i stopped dating there is no <laughs> I had someone lick my face, dude, during a date. Like, after he had the freaking shrimp, two plates of shrimp, he had a licking your face, licking, licking face is fetish, or just licking in general. And I was like, okay, I thought he was joking. Like, I thought it was a joke. And then, like, and I couldn't even, I felt so uncomfortable, but I couldn't even leave because we were, I, I, I parked in his parking garage. Like, he lived, oh. like, in an apartment <laughs> complex. 
and like we were gonna go eat it was like right next door and like yeah. i didn't have to pay for parking and i'm over here thinking like wow what a gentleman he's over here like yeah take my parking space i wanted to die when i was in the freaking date and i couldn't leave because i needed his keys to get inside yeah. the garage and out so he <laughs> needed to be in my car to get out of like it was just a disaster like he kept saying like um I love, uh, what does he say? Toxic Latina women. And I'm like. Do you classify, your, <sighs> you classify yourself as toxic? No, hell no. Far we're from it. Opposite of toxic. Yeah, dude. And I hate that. Like, it has, like, a stigma. Just because we're Latinas and we're passionate it doesn't mean we're toxic. Do you think that resides with attitude? Yeah, just because we're attitude? vocal. Just because, yeah, we should have attitude. Like, it's just, a, it's another self of expression, you know? Yeah. And Latinas, we're just born fiery. Like, we're just born with spice, a little, you know. That's just who we are. It's not toxic. That's who you are, for I'm, sure. And, and that's why, like, how you asked uh, the other podcast, like, getting out of the normal, getting yeah. out of what society, what audience want you to be. Right. They want us to be quiet. They want us to, especially women, they want you to be quiet. The good girl. The good girl. Don't talk back. Don't voice your opinion. Like, I kid you not. There's people in here, you know, part of the team. Cindy, Cindy's one of the ones that you can don't even try her. You're gonna lose that battle. <laughs> you're gonna lose that battle. Whoever talks or says a, replies to a comment, you're in for it. Right. Right away. Right. Cindy, we're gonna we're gonna do a little. Uh, we're gonna merge, merge. our podcast because she has her own, but the ones that she has, they're the same. They voice. Yeah. They got a voice. As they should be. So th that's like when you're saying that, I was like, damn, Cindy's the same way. Like she, but she burns them out. Like she doesn't post her names, but the conversation is like, bro, she doesn't let up. Right. I think you have the right to hold your ground. Yeah. You have the right to talk back. Yeah. It's freedom of speech. The fuck? Like if they have the, like, they have like the audacity to come at you like that, I'm going to have the audacity to come at you even harder. Like you asked for that energy, so I'm going to give it to you back. <laughs> you just, I think. One of your TikToks that I just seen, I think it was like yesterday, the day before, someone bowed down to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay. <laughs> that was out of this fucking world. Like, I, it was a random dude, and me and my friend were walking um, on the beach, and he keeps following us. And so I, like, I'm like, hey, like, I, I acknowledge you acknowledging me. Like, what's up? Yeah. And then he goes, honestly, like, I'm just looking. I'm sorry. Like, you guys are just very beautiful. I'm looking for um, a woman to praise. And I thought, he, you know, I thought he was joking. So I went, I went along with it and I was like, oh, you found the right one. I'm right here. Like, I am the goddess, you know, like you have found her. And he was like, I knew it. Like, I like I, I can literally get on my knees right now. And I was like, yeah, do it. And he was legit about to get on his knees in the middle of the fucking street. And me and my friend were like, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. We thought we were, you were joking. He was like, no, like, I'm being serious. Like, I'm looking for a goddess to praise. And I was like, oh, no, like, this is weird. Like, it's like, no, no, no. He was like, well, do you know anyone that I can find? And I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, I don't one. know. <laughs> I mean, it sounded nice, but it was also kind of scary. I was like, what does that even mean? Your life is a movie, bro. No, dead ass. Dead ass. Like, I, the first time I'm like, man, there's, there's not so many stories that one can have that happens to them. No. But. It, it, it's yeah. you yeah i know you, you got that i think i, I was legit meant, meant to be an entertainer because all the shit that happens to me like it is like there's no i could write a book of all the shit that's happened to me and it's all pretty funny write a memoir i know huh i'm gonna write yeah it's start writing you gotta start writing book. yeah but it, my it's, diary is gonna cost the millions when i'm dead a princess <laughs> diaries part yeah. three queen's diary queen die oh god is diary part three so how's your, you started a, now also the last time I talked to you, personal training yeah. out in North Hollywood. West Hollywood. West Hollywood. Yeah. Sorry, not North Hollywood. Not North Hollywood. West Hollywood. West Hollywood. West Hollywood. How is that? It's good. It's good. Honestly, I've been really blessed. Like, um, uh, this guy that I've kind of like knew just through Instagram. Yeah. Asked me to go to one of his beach boot camps, and I went. And then he's, he's like, dude, oh. I fuck with you. Is it the one you invited me? And I never yeah, went? yeah, yeah. The one you never went to. Unbelievable. Me, cardio, yeah. we... We don't get along. <laughs> no, we don't, no. It's really, really fun. It's actually really fun. Um, now we just do it for um, uh, charity. Mm. So, yeah, we do charity boot, boot camp. Charity boot camps. <laughs> charity boot camps. So all our funds go to, like, charity and stuff. But yeah. um, basically, I went, and he was like, dude, I fuck with your vibe. He was like, come through to the, to the West Hollywood gym. 
uh, to catch a free workout. And I'm like, down. And I went, and he was like, dude, why don't you work here? And I was like, let's do it. And then that's it. Like, the rest it's is history. history. How many yeah. clients do you have now? <sighs> um, oh, shit. No, actually, it's not that much because I was still working at the one in Pasadena. Mm. And I just quit that one. So I'm trying to get more, um, yeah, I'm trying to get more people to West Hollywood. So right now I only have, like, five, yeah. which isn't too bad. But it's, you're, you're picking in a lot of different areas. Yeah. Like I have a shit ton. To social do. media, part-time, yeah. trainer, part-time. Yeah. You're st- still with the cause, right? Yeah. Still with the cause. With the cause. What yeah. else? What else? Oh, the my sexual movimientos, live coaching. Yeah. I'm working with the, uh, my, my program. It's been, it's been taking a while, but. Talk about that journey. Yeah. It's, it's harder than I thought, for sure. And then I went through, like, a really, really dark phase. Like a really, 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 really after we really, after really we met each other, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I experienced an ego death. Like it was, it was the worst time I have. I've like I've gone through depression, I've gone through anxiety and all that shit. But like this was different. Like this was something that like I couldn't even talk to people about it because I knew that no one would understand. Yeah. So I had to just do it myself. I just go, go through it myself. And it was such a dark moment. Like I've never felt so disconnected from humanity in my life. How long did that? How long were you in that? Like a month. Jeez, a month. A month. I literally didn't want to do anything. Like, I was just in bed, like, sad. Like, I was crying all day, every day. Like, I felt so unworthy, like, so unworthy of love. Like, it was just, the, it, was, it was hard. It was so, so hard. But what I realized is that, like, I experienced an ego death. Like, my body knew, like, it was mourning something that, like, was no longer part of me anymore. Like, I am a completely different person. And it's crazy because once you heal certain wounds, like, you can't be the same person anymore. Because yeah. those wounds make you who you are, right? You put up, like, a front or whatever. But once these traumas are healed, you can't be that person anymore. So, uh, like, my body knew that, like, I was mourning a part of me that I could never return to. And so, yeah. Damn. And But after I realized all that stuff, like, I it was just, I feel light. I feel like a brand new person. Like, I... It's like you see things differently. You're just happy all the time. You're optimistic about shit. Like people can literally tell you your face, you're a bitch. And I'm like, I pray for you. Like, I know it's not about me. I know it ain't personal, you know? Like you just see things differently. And it's just, it was worth it for sure. Man, so you got, you yourself are vulnerable to just life in general, to yourself. You You admitted what was going on to yourself. Yeah. And you got out. Yeah. And that's why like, me and me and Brittany like what we say like dude this person right here is like the first time we met her with all the energy in the world all the positivity yeah. everything yeah. since that day there i don't i don't think there's ever been a conversation where it's just been like who really are you like i've never seen you in, in any other way and like you're the people that are watching you have always seen you with that affirmations yeah. positive energy yeah like confidence yeah i think that just resides and it rubs off on those other people that are watching you it's contagious yeah for sure someone wanted to be you and took down your ig bro huh someone wanted to be you and hacked your ig just for that reason i know i can't believe that happened legit hacked me and like was trying to um get money off like my private pics which i don't even have (laughs) he was trying to sell my shit um but that was a really humbling experience, too. Like, I was, like, legit holding on to all the followers that I had and, like, yeah. thinking I was big shit and, like, with 22,000 followers. Who the, that's nothing, right? It's nothing. And then when that shit happened, I was like, fuck, I'm going to have to start all over. Like, And for, like, 30 minutes, I was, like, panicking. I was like, no, like, how am I going to be able to get this platform again? But then afterwards, I was like, dude whatever it's out of my hands like yeah god i surrender whatever is supposed to happen supposed to happen it's a humbling experience if i could do it once i could do it again like it's fine and the real ones will stick and and has that happened the real ones stuck yeah i think so and new ones yeah any ones yeah 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 hey every ending is also a new beginning so yeah you're gonna quote that one (laughs) (laughs) so you're business ventures now that you're taking the new platforms that you're taking how is that motivation in there like what's what's one thing that you're living by that just keeps you going in in all different areas i refuse to do anything in my life that i don't want to do like if it doesn't spark interest in me i refuse to do it if any job if any career if any person just doesn't make me feel my absolute best i'm out 
-hmm. Like, I don't waste time. Time is more valuable than money, yeah. you know? So it's like, I'm not going to waste my time with people. I'm not going to waste my time with jobs. I'm not going to waste my in situations. Like, I refuse. If I don't want to do shit, like, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Unapologetically you. Unapologetically, yeah. Because, like, you never know. We have more todays than tomorrows. Like, why are we worrying about shit that, like, it's not even... Like, we don't know what we're going to have tomorrow. So I want to do what I want to do right now. Has there been a, a phrase that you've been going out or a quote? Um, fuck it. Like, that's <laughs> literally it. Like, or just why not? Like, why not? Like, no. I want to do this. Okay, but why not? Like, why, why, like, what's stopping me? I think fuck it sounded better. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> like, fuck it. I deserve this. Oh, that's my, I always say that. I deserve this. No, I'm going to take the day off today. I deserve this. I deserve a dine out. Like, I deserve it. Because just, I do. Just with not with shrimp mouth. With what? Not with shrimp mouth. I know. <laughs> or was, was it garlic, garlic? No, it, well, it was both. It was both. And a margarita. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. And I'm vegan, dude. And he freaking put shrimp all over my... On my Her thing. too. Yeah? Vegan? Vegans. Vegans. That's a... Uh, I seen a... Uh, what it was? You posted it. I think it's just your Instagram stories where you give everybody that's watching you that reinforcement of confidence. Because I think right now we're in the time where a lot of people are missing that confidence itself yeah and just and that's what we were talking earlier too about confidence the confidence boost we need to always hear somebody else in order to reinforce that inside us so do you look up to anybody else besides yourself to give you that reinforcement or gives you that uplifting like hey like you're doing good does someone do that to me yeah um i mean i feel like i have a lot of friends that are like because you are who you attract right and so, honestly, everyone right in my corner right now is, like, they, we all inspire each other. Like, we're all doing the same shit. Like, I have friends that are, like, very, um, they, they're, on, they're all entrepreneurs. Like, they're all on their spiritual journey. Like, they're all, like, either hypnotherapists or, like, doing, like, uh, women's ceremonies. Like, those are my friends. And, like, I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. And so, we're always just doing the same shit. And, like, on my feed, like, I'm, I feel like a lot of people tell me, like, oh, my God, you're so inspiring, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes... I feel like I'm doing the same shit that other people are doing because that's all I see in my feed because that's all I follow. See what yeah. I'm saying? But yeah, that that's, I know what you're saying because that's what I'm trying to do. Like, yeah. Cause social media is a job, bro. It is. It, it's, uh, it's a full time job. It's a, dude. Yeah. It's, it's a hard. job. Yeah. And that's why like Brittany has seen me of a, when I try to take any like personal videos, like a motivational thing that I heard from somewhere else. And I just want to replay it in my, my tone, my, in my words and i'm just like fuck i sounded like a dumbass no Man, dude boom, just do it boom. just do yeah, it so just do it don't second guess yourself she tried to well she did it but every time like she records me like i it's like all right i'm good panic button hits yeah boom I'm, that's self-doubt never mind never mind never yeah. mind but yeah. off the camera i'm like bro i can have this conversation yeah. i'm good i can tell you Ten many things when I know the camera's not there, and then camera turns on. I'm like, You're like, mm. uh, so what we're we talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But just do it, dude. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, well, that that's why we're here. That's yeah. why we took that leap of faith to be here now, because that's I said it and just a little while ago on episode one that my dad even asked like, how much you get paid? I'm like, fuck, nothing. Not yet. Not yet. Keyword yet. Yeah. So I think you even mentioned the when, when we seen you at the high school, and it was just like, oh. We're investing in this. Like, there's no losing when once you're investing in yourself. Right. So, like, you're one of the two that I already listened to it before. And I'm just like, bro, like, you're fucking right. Like, money comes and goes all the time. Like, we'll Energy. spend we'll spend 100 bucks on alcohol or 100 bucks on food or something. But never, we always doubt it when we're trying to invest that in ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like, why is that? Why do you think people do that? Because we don't believe in ourselves. We don't think that we're going to make it. We're not going to, we're afraid of failure. And we don't want to go through that. We don't want to, like, feel like losers. If you go through it and then fail, you're gonna, your confidence level is going to go down. You don't want to go through that. Yeah. So you'd rather just avoid it. So what, uh, mm, what advice do you give the people that already reached out to you and new ones trying to reach, reach you to, like, come ask you? I actually just did a post about this, um, that, like, people are – afraid to make mistakes right but like mistakes are inev inevitable like you're gonna do it 
So if you, there is something that you're passionate about, just fucking do it. Like, just get the yeah. ball rolling. Like, even if you fuck up, like, those are lessons. Like, you have to go through that. Like, yes. everybody goes through fuck ups. Like, that's what it is. Like, those are indicators of you actually doing shit. If you're not making mistakes, that means you're not doing shit. Right? Because you have to go out there and you have to learn shit. Like, you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. So just fucking do it. Like, we all go through mistakes. Just fucking do it. Your younger self. 20, 25 years young. You're, you're 25? Me too. I'm there about to be 26. So. There we go. When? When? The 25th. Of this month? Of this month. <gasps> Spooky you're a Scorpio? Season. Hell yeah. <gasps> I live by that. Everybody, like, they're like, what's your sign? I'm like, Scorpio. Soy Scorpio, Nico. <laughs> but uh, Brittany's oh, 19, sorry. so what is that? Uh... Libra. We love a Libra. <laughs> I don't. She argues with me left and right. She's so. all about balance. That's why. They don't. You they know your sign, dude? Wait, when's, when's your, your birthday? birthday? Gemini? I think. June 13. June 13. That's, I think that's a Gemini. Cindy, what are you? Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but they're the hustlers. They're the hustlers oh, of the so Zodiac. We're going to have Cindy back on because she has like 10 different businesses going out yeah. as well. Yeah. But yeah, we're all under contract. She has me under contract now. <laughs> but yeah, hey, I'm a Capricorn rising. Mm. I don't know if y'all know about No, okay. I got no Never idea. Mind. I Never got mind. no idea. School us. I got no idea. Yeah, there's like three. You have three signs. So it's you have your moon sign, your sun sign, and then your um, rising. So your sun sign is your Scorpio, right? And then, like, um, your moon sign is who you are behind closed doors, right? Like, so when you can, you can think of it as, like, when the moon comes out. Like, you're, like, usually at home or whatever. There's a personality that you perceive to others, right? Like, you put up a front when you're out in public, right? And that's okay. your sun. That's a Scorpio. Yeah. And then you have your moon who only a certain amount of people get to know. Like, you're, like, really personal. Or only sometimes you get to know who you are. I that. cry. See what so I'm what saying? is that? But I don't know. I don't know I don't your moon sign. I don't know. You have to figure it out. I'm going to have to figure this yeah. out. So yeah, yeah. You can look it up. And then your rising is how people portray you. Yeah. Scorpio still. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think your rising would be Scorpio. It would be something else. You're downloading it right now? Yep. They're going to they're gonna figure there, this out. There you go. There you go. Figure this out. What, yeah. are your, what, what are your big three? Oh, we love an Aquarius. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> if you're watching this, you better drop your, your signs. Yeah, oh, what are, what's your sign? The rising three. I'm a sign from God, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the you part. Yeah. That, that is who you are. Yeah. So with all that, bro, all of that, <clears throat> dude, we're, I think it's like 20 minutes already <laughs> running. We're on this, but... Your energy, bro, like, you just, you woke up, what time today? Seven. Seven, you woke up with the affirmations already. We know this. Did well, you? Well, yeah, so on my Sexy Movimiento class, we always make sure that, like, everyone that comes in, they have an affirmation. So, like, I am, and then they How do whatever. people sign up for your, for your class? Um, just DM. Just yeah, DM me and RSVP. DM. Yeah. What's the, what's the cost to be in the Sexy Movimiento class? Fifteen. 15 a class. 15 bucks to get yeah, your confidence, that's confidence it. up, bro. That's it. Again, don't, we would waste 15 bucks. Honestly, um, you would waste nothing. it on, like, on food, on one meal. Mm -hmm. And by the time you're done eating, you still feel the same way. Or even we're a materialistic shit. You know what I mean? Like, you Damn, won't even, like. What can you find 15 bucks around here now? <laughs> it's so expensive. And I know. I know. So with the whole sexy movimiento, bro, like, that's. Just your whole empowerment, your whole platform of being empowerment and giving the Latinas and just women in general that confidence. Like, bro, like, do not doubt yourself. Yeah. Do not depend on nobody. Don't let nobody bring you down. Be you. Oh. Is there, what's the advice you would give to a younger self of you now where you're at? <sighs> if you're talking to the, a young Jackie. Young 15-year-old. Man. Jackie. All I can... So growing up Latina, right? Like, especially my, just any minority woman. Yeah. Um, we grow up thinking that, like, we have to cater to men and we have to be the good girl. And um, if you want to go to heaven, you can only have 
you know, sex after marriage and like blah, blah, blah. Right. We're already told what to do from a really young age, who to be, how to be, what it means to be successful, go to college, get married, get a house, have kids. That's success. Right. And that's what we think we have to do as little kids. Like, that's what we have to do. We have to stay quiet. We have to listen to authority just because that's what we're told. But like, fuck all of that shit. Fuck all of that shit, bro. Like, I meant to fucking be a rebel because I can be where the fuck I want. I can be sexy. I can wear a fucking low V. I can wear a fucking booty shorts. I can do whatever the fuck I want. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm a hoe. Like, doesn't mean that I'm fucking over here asking for shit. Like, and little girls can do that. Like, not little girls, right? But I'm just saying, like, teenage girls can do the fucking same shit. Like, yeah. I, it's just society literally has always told us what to do. Whether it's at school, whether it's a fucking job, whether it's a fucking our culture, whether it's society, like it's always telling. Religion is always based off like women. Women can't like do, this, do, do that. that. Women can't wear this. Women have to wear this can't when they go to this. church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and it's bullshit. Like, being a woman, you already you already freaking are born with so many like obstacles. Like, you're gonna face obstacles no matter what. Like, it's it's inevitable. And a Latina, yeah. I mean, just minority woman. Like, ya valió. Yeah, like, ya valió, you know? Ya yeah, so might as well just fucking be a rebel. Fuck it. Like, we're everyth- everyone's already against us anyways. Get out of the norm. Exactly. Why are you trying to be like everybody else? I that think, shit is boring. I think that's the, that's the issue that we recognize everything that's stopping us, yet we still allow it to stop us. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I can't move on because I can't do this, that, that. It's like, all right, so figure it out. Like, what, yeah. how can you get out of it? Yeah. And, oh, well, I know what to do. But I'm just not going to do it yet. I'm like, then don't fucking complain. Yeah. But I, I also think that it's because, like, we're, three? like. Um, three minutes? Ooh. We're going part two already. Already? Already. Oh we're on. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Is this yours? No, I wish. Oh, okay. But I'm trying, to co- I'm, I'm trying to convince her so I can buy it already. <laughs> Dude, everything, like, me and Cin- Cindy, Cindy has her podcast, too. So yeah. we're always looking at equipment. We're just like, bro so expensive i know like microphones themselves like and you can I this know. is like it's on open like amazon they have them for like 300 to 400 bucks like when you, obviously you want the quality right? right so there's ones that are 160 70 yeah. cool yeah. you can always make them happen but i always think about it, it's like all right i want to invest the right way because i already did the mess up where i bought microphones and right away i'm just like i need to upgrade them yeah yeah. I was like, I should have done this since the get-go. So, yeah. But you learn. We live Mistakes, and we learn. Right we there. live and we learn. So you had to make a mistake you see, to the, know. The last time you were here, we had the first mics, and we're in West Coast. Yeah. Then we moved to Fontana, and now we're back in season two, and you're yeah, back here. Yeah, look at that. Circle of life. You got to talk to my manager out there, because she doesn't allow me to spend what I want now. <laughs> She's like, no. Look at this first. I'm like, and then, and then seeing Cindy's uh, setup out there, I'm already like, ooh, that looks pretty good, <laughs> bro. That looks good. I should get this. But, yeah, I just wanted to bring it up. Uh, since we are having, you know, our, our little one, do you think it's scary being a girl in this society? Yeah. I mean, yes and no. Like, I love being a woman. Like, I, I, and the power that it comes with it. Um, like power, power that it comes or that people just need to find it? I mean, we have it, but we're we're just suppressed, like, from a very young age to just act like society wants us to act. But as soon as you break out that shit, like, you don't understand, like, how powerful women can be. Like, yeah. we're intuitive people. Like, we know shit. Like, when someone's lying to us, like, that's why they say women are crazy, but we're not. We're not crazy. Like, it legit, our intuition is always right. Like, they always tell us some shit. Yeah. We know when you're lying. We know when someone's cheating. Like, we just know. We just know. We're intuitive people. We're very powerful people. But it is scary being a woman, too. Like, you can't even go out jogging at, at night. Yeah. Like, you have to go with somebody. You can't do shit by yourself. Like I think we seen one of our, one of the, per, one of the guests we had on, on, she posted, that even at the grocery store at 7 a.m., bro, yeah. There's already people being weird. weird. I'm yeah. like, 7 a.m., people got that type of energy? Yeah. But, I mean, if you're weird, you're just weird. Sometimes, again, don't take it in the wrong way. Being weird is always good. It's always great to be different. Right. But just in the right way. Yeah, yeah. No, there is weird, weird. Like, all right, like, chill the fuck out. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can be weird, but, like, don't be weird with me. <laughs> Yeah. Or you end up on TikTok on a story. For exactly, sure. exactly. So 
how has that grown the last time we seen you how how has that platform grew on you and grown itself like i mean followers i've grown a lot um since the last time i was here um and it's all and it's crazy yeah, blessed just grateful so grateful because the and i don't mean this in the cockiest way like i don't even try Like, I don't try on TikTok. And, like, I'm famous enough. Like, I'm grateful to be. I, I'm not, like, on a million and shit. But, like. Are you monetized? Yeah. Yeah. I make money off of it. Drop yeah, the mic. There we yeah, go. Drop the mic. I already mic. make money. TikTok pays me. Um, but the I, I literally just. And the on the videos I get the most views is just me talking. Like, about my life, my dating stories, the shit that happens to me. Like, people just want to hear me. But it's just the way you. You yeah. relay the message. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are not gonna fucking believe, believe what the fuck is happening. Happen. Yeah, it's because I'm dramatic as fuck. <laughs> you think cussing just part of your vocabulary? Yes. Why is that? Oh my god, I've had so many people that are like, oh, I love watching your stories, like family members. Oh, I seen it. Yeah, I love yeah. watching your. I love watching it, but you just me how like just stop saying the b word, and I'm like, bitch. First of all, first of all, it's my motherfucking TikTok. If you don't like that shit, like leave. And it's just, like, it's just part of my, like, I'm just a passionate person. Like, if yeah. I were to tell you, like, dude, that's a cool hat. But if, I, but if I were to tell you, dude, that's a fucking badass hat. Like, you would, it's the difference, right? Like, if yeah. I tell my, my, my friend, like, oh, you look cute in that dress. Bitch, you look bomb as fuck in that dress. Like, it's a difference. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. people will understand, like. The way, the way it's, it's related, it's yeah. different, bro. And yeah. that's what, like, uh, me, me and my boy over here, we coach together. So, like, there's always a bound, right? Like, I'm not going to cuss at you. But I'm going to cuss when I'm relaying my message to you. It's like, yeah. hey, try next time. Hey, like, what the fuck is wrong, bro? Like, you yeah. need to fucking get this going. You need, And it's like, you're not going to hear me when I'm like, hey, hurry up. Hey, hurry the fuck up already. Yeah. It's, like, oh, yeah. oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. And it's not directed to them. It's exactly. Just, it is, I mean, because right now, like, society, social media, it's people are too sensitive. I know. Too sensitive know. to what is out there. Like, I know. I always say, like, if the shoe fits, yeah. then great for you, homie. Yeah. Like, take it however you want, but... It's not for you. It's just meant to be out there. Yeah. And that's one thing that I've learned. Like, you can't take shit personal. Like, it's never about you, dude. Like, it's never about you. Like, if someone comes at you like that, like, it's not even about them. They're probably having their own fucking battles and projecting it onto you. Like, yeah. it hasn't. So just don't fucking worry about it. Like, and if people are coming at me for, like, oh, I'm cussing too much or I hurt them. And I'm like, babe, it has nothing to do with you. Like, go about fix it, your girl. shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sending you some love, but, like, it ain't about me. Like, yeah. hit, hit the unfollow button. Like, I really don't mind. You know, he so would be too sensitive. Your job with like uh, TikTok, do you take, how long do you take editing your I don't your edit. Minute? <laughs> I'm telling you, like the ones that I, that get the most views is just me talking about, it's just one take, me yeah. talking about my life and then boom, post. Our, the most raw videos. Prudence, she's, she's on there and she was like, dude, it took me four hours to edit a 15 second video. I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. So now I'm just like all technical. I'm like, all right, how long, how long? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. But funny. see, I don't know how to do that stuff either. Like My quiet time is in the toilet, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. I'm just like, I'm going to sit in here because no one's bothering yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. <laughs> it's your you time. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. all right, now I can edit this video. Now yeah. I can post this. Like even for the podcast, like I can uh, I can, uh, cut it. Like she's already talking about it. Hey, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. Yeah, he does. Our, yeah. No, our, our, huh? our baby boy, he's just outside, and he's like, Dad? Yeah. And I'm like, hold on. He's like, are you almost, okay in there? I'm, I'm almost done editing. <laughs> but it's, but now, like, getting more comfortable with, again, getting more comfortable in my own skin. Mm -hmm. to like, it's like, bro, like, believe it or not, for other people, it's like, tuning in, barely tuning in. The energy we have, like, it's been a time coming. It's been, like, for me, it's been, it's just been getting out of the comfort zone. Getting yeah. out of that shell, like fuck, what are people gonna say about me? Yeah, what? It, what? A, they're not gonna accept who I am now. Who I really am, I'm just coming out now. Yeah, and that's it. Literally took my fuck it moment. Yeah. I'm like, they don't fucking like it. They don't like. They don't like what we're doing. Fuck it. Yeah, it's not for you. It's not yeah. supposed to be for everybody. Right. It's meant to be for those who need, who need it. I think that's the scariest part. But yeah, like, you still know about it. Yeah. <laughs> you still watch me? Hey, honestly, and haters are the best type of, like, um, what is it called? Um, I guess, like, advertisement. Like, they're still watching. 
Like, and yeah. usually they're the ones that are watching like 10, 10 it, times, like, look at this little fucker. And I was it, like, but they're still watching. It, I'm still getting that view. We went know? to went to go eat, me and Cindy, and I think, no, it was uh, the conversation me and Cindy had, and she tagged me in it, and I reposted it, and she had posted it, and I think there was like 10 people from her and like 10 people from me or less that shared it. And we're like, fuck, we didn't see those shares. Yeah. We didn't see the repost, remember? Yeah. When we had like that hour conversation, and there was like people that sent out that, that story that you put. Or that tapped into the clicks. Like, they clicked on your profile, and then they clicked on my profile. Oh, yeah. See, people are watching. <laughs> Cindy's still kind of asleep. She's tired. She has an <laughs> ate today. She ate rice. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, but it's just, like I tell Brittany, it's like, there's always people, like, tuning in. Like, there's always people just watching, clicking, never following, but they're sharing your shit. They're yeah. still watching it. There's so. m- you're, you're impacting more people than you probably think. When you go coach or your your life coaching or even a personal training, do you talk to your clients in that way? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I empower everybody. Like, my model is always like, dude, like, I want people around me to feel amazing. Yeah. Like, that's, I have so much love to give. Like, I have so much energy. Like, what am I going to do with it? Like, I love making people feel amazing. Like, I can convince people to do ever, anything that they fucking want because they can. Yeah. Because at some point, and sometimes you just need that person. They'll tell you, like, you can do it. Like, I'm here for you. Like, I believe in you. Like, I'm going to be that person for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love being that person for people. Like, I love that shit. I thrive on it. How m- does your sisters, like, they feed off your energy also? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love being the oldest sister. I'm like a mom. Like, they come to me instead of my parents when they go through, like, life shit. Because my yeah. parents, you know, it's they're different. Different, they're yeah. different generation. Yeah, they're... I, Heard it from Eric Thomas, actually, earlier this week, last week. He was just like, we are born into broken parents. Yeah. And he was like, your parents can say they can retain 10 gallons. And then you're that one that's going to retain 50 gallons. But you need to be that one. Mm -hmm. So I was having this, like, hour, like, 30-minute conversation with my mom about this whole thing, about everything. Like, hey, I, I I look at certain things like this. I don't let things get to me now because I learned how to let go. Yeah. Like, what's that phrase? Let go, let God. Yep. As Surrender. It, that you have to. Mm-hmm. Whatever you believe, whatever you may believe in or praise to, it's like there's something always bigger than us. Yeah. Like I tell, like, the younger ones, like, bro, if you cannot control the outcome, don't worry about it. Let it be. It's still going to happen mm-hmm. without you even having an input it's or trying inevitable. to. inevitable. It's going to happen, but the things that you can control, like, say, grades, work, money, positions, life, control it as much as you can. Shit happens, shit happens, and move on, move forward. Dude, the only, the only consistent thing in life is change. That is the only thing that will never change. <laughs> Damn. Don't it's true. Like, wait, say it one more time. The most constant thing in life is change. Damn. Yeah. How many times have you changed? Oh, dude, dude, like <laughs> this. I was actually just talking about this with my friend yesterday. Looking back, I was a completely different person. Like I like to say so many egos ago, like yeah. so many egos ago back when like I had so much like trauma and shit. Like I was a bitch. I still am. But, you know, like I'm more I, you know, I love more. But and like showing affection was not a thing. Being vulnerable was not a thing. Being Latina and vulnerable, that's not a thing. Like you don't ask for help. Yeah. You know, like, we're, what, depression, shit, like, no, vete a trabajar, like, you know, llorando y limpiando, like, you know, like, <laughs> oh, you bored? I got something to do, go clean the house, go, you and know. They, there's dishes right there, go clean yeah, them. Yeah, 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 go get another job, you know, like. Yeah. Um, do your parents see now your platform, or have they been? <laughs> I don't know, dude, sometimes I feel like my parents don't see. They still don't how, believe in what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, it's crazy, because so many people, like, tell me, like, you're so motivated, like, you motivate me, you inspire me, blah, blah, blah. And my parents are like, get out your ass. Like, go do something. And I'm like, I'm doing so much, you don't even know. Like, <laughs> but yeah. they don't get it. They don't get it. You think that at one point they'll get it? Or, like, they'll see it? Maybe. I hope so. But, I mean, either way, like, if yeah. they don't, I don't blame them. Yeah, I think, you know? shout out my mom. She, she ends shout up out. always watching it at one point, and she gives me the feedback. But it's always the same thing back. I'm like, damn, well. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, all these other messages are putting out there. You're worrying about this one thing. They always look at the bad. Like, sometimes I low-key feel like they want you to fail. 
because like I do all this shit. My mom's like, ay, qué bonito, pero hubieras, like, you should have done this. Ah, para, para, para la próxima, haz esto. And I was like, why can't you just say, like, this is good, like, good, good job. job. Yeah, good they'd be job. like, oh, muy bien, pero cambia esto. Do you think in society right now, even in the young generation, we lack that affection of our higher ups? Yeah. Like, hey, I'm proud of you. Hey, I yeah. love you. Like, hey, I got you. I've been I'm going to kid you not. I had this conversation last time I told my mom. I was like, hey, I threw that out there, right? It's like, if, if anybody hasn't told you, I'm proud of you. Oh. If anybody hasn't told you, I love you yeah. through the good and bad. Yeah. And I had, like, out of 17 people that we have, about a good seven, eight, like, we're crying. Aww. And I'm kid you not. Like, I'm going to be honest. Uh, usually when I talk to my dad good, like, very openly, it's, like, late. We've had drinks already. And then he gives me, he was telling me and my cuñado, like, his story, right? And I look at him, and I'm just like, hey, no one has told you I'm proud of you. And Aww. it's like, he's one of those, he's a, bro, he's, he doesn't let up. And he's just like, you just see him, like, doesn't, Aww. can't even, like, he can't cry, but he's crying, and then he just hugs. I'm just yeah. like, damn, bro. But it's because I know the background that he never got that love. I'm like, why am I, why am I crying right now? <laughs> why am I emotional right now? <laughs> just thinking about yeah, that. Yeah, like, he never got that love. And, yeah, for us, it was tough, for, tough when we grew up in certain ways. Yeah. But he never had that love. Where now, like, me, me as a parent, I can tell Noah, like, today you're leaving early in the morning. We had to wake him up. And I was, like, literally tying him in the car seat. I'm like, one day this is going to pay off, I promise yeah. you. Like, this is, this is not for no reason. Right. I promise you this will pay. I'm going to get you all the toys you want. I'm going to get you everything you want. And me, your mom, and the two, your sister, we're going to live in a big house. But yeah. this is going to pay off. Right. Because I was like, I told Brian, I was like, dude, we come, we come home 9, 9 p.m., 8 p.m. He's asleep already. And I yeah. cry. And I'm just like, one day this is all pay off. Everything cool. we're doing right now. Everything we're possibly doing. I was like, we're doing it now. We have energy. And just how my parents provided that for me, I'm gonna do the same thing just in my own way. Yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna feed off of what you just did. I'm gonna use it right to right now, and I'm gonna make you proud because I know that's the proudest moment you've ever had. That you could say your son is taking care of you and literally being a reflection of you, but now my son's gonna be a reflection of me. So I gotta be the motivated. Mm -hmm. I got, I want him to look up to me and be like, damn, my dad motivated me. Yeah. And I'm like. I did the best. Yeah, that's all. That's all you can do. Try your best, and your best looks different every day. People feed off of it. People see yeah. it. like it's so crazy because I post now like on TikTok more, and people that don't know me like thank you, yeah, thank you for this. I yeah. needed this. Yeah. I'm like those are the best. I'm like I needed that too, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we don't even realize like how much we're impacting people like and people that we don't even know yeah. people that we don't even know are watching like yeah. they're, they're watching i think you know? are you a, are you a giver to the people around you hell yeah hell yeah i'm a big giver what's your purpose around that like what do you think your purpose is now like you're an entertainer we know this but what yeah. do you think is your purpose i think just being like that voice like i'm honestly i truly believe i was I'm meant to be here to, like, cause, like, ruckus before I fucking leave this earth. Like, I'm going to leave, like, a dent. Like Shake up the room. Like, yeah, like, I'm going to make people mad. I'm going to make people, but, like, in a good way. Like, I'm going to yeah. make a fucking movement. Like, I'm, ti I'm so tired of, like, people telling women what to do, especially Latina women. I'm tired of it. Like, and I've always questioned everything. Like, growing up religion, like, yeah. religious, like, question all that shit. So, like... I know I'm meant to be a voice for a lot of Latina women who just have struggled their whole life to just be express who they truly are. And even a lot of my, my life coaching clients, they don't know who they are. It's imposter syndrome. Like they, they grow up thinking they have to do all of this and they go and they go to school, they get their master's, whatever, they get the job that they thought that they wanted. They get the job and they fucking hate it. This isn't what I want to do. And then yeah. they, they're depressed because, like, I've worked my whole life for this. And yeah. then I don't know what to do. Like, what I'm starting from scratch. And we want to change that shit up. That's literally what I was telling my mom. I've told her. I'm like, I don't want to be 40, 50 years old and still thinking about my purpose. Right. And still wanting to do what I always wanted to do. But, it, you know, it's back then it's so different. And that's why in this new day and age, we're all capable of beating the odds, of being different. 
but it's just a matter of having that it factor inside you to make it happen. Right. Like that's the yeah. message that like I've told him. And you know, when you, when I talk to him, he's, he's his own person. I'm like, damn bro, like you fucking motivated. Mm -hmm. And this is why I'm like, all right, hey, I need you. Yeah. Like I need you Simple. around me more. Yeah. You know, yeah, same yeah. thing like with Cindy, Brittany, they're in their own way. They're all motivated. And that's how you said, like everybody in your circle like compliment you in a certain way yeah, like they what do. they're doing compliments your lifestyle mm -hmm. like yeah i would get it if we were out in uh drinking left and right you know not knowing what's happening and not working then yeah i get it we're in the wrong area but what we're doing i'm like nope we're doing something now yeah. we need to do it now yeah. what did my mom tell me don't don't wait to do something that you can do now do not wait to do it later do it now yeah I show that you're not gonna wash your truck. I was like, nah, I'll do it tomorrow. She's like, no, don't wait. Do so I was yeah. like, fuck. So yesterday, we went out on Friday. <laughs> so woke up yesterday. I'm like, all right, I gotta wash them. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna wait no more. I know procrastination is one of my um, weaknesses too. I'm always like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow. I'm tomorrow day. comes. Yeah, and we're like, and we're fuck, like now I gotta tomorrow. do it. Yeah. So what? What is the plan within? Say the next year, bro. I think I can't even say five years because that'd be way too much. Yeah. What's the plan in the next year? 2022 coming up. What's the, what are we looking at? What, what should your audience look for? I know that my sex movimiento class is going to be fucking like, it's going to, it's going to blow up. Like I know it, I know it will. It's amazing. Um, so that's going to, I'm probably going to do that like full time because I fucking love it. I love it. Yeah. That and then um, my life coaching program, I'm going to have like. Stay tuned. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 I'm really, really, really excited for it. And also, I think I'm going to move. Yeah. Where are we going to? I don't what, know. Did, what, did, like, uh, what did everyone say? Hey, I think LA is calling me. <laughs> yeah. No, LA is telling me to leave. Like, I want to go somewhere, like, and just somewhere in Mexico and, like, on a beach, like, and just do absolutely nothing. Just be. The next within the next year, yeah. Like and have no like expectations, have no like just a one way trip. Mm, I don't know when I'll come back. Taking a significant other, and you don't give a shit. No, just myself. Yeah. Independent, I in. Yeah, well, I mean, me and my friend, but. Yeah. Yeah. Is but. your friend is like you guys hang on, not hang on. You guys compliment each other in that realm, like Dude, you guys we're support each other. Literally the exact same person. <laughs> so that's why we were talking about this yesterday she has a house in um what's it called uh, playa escondida or something like that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um and she said like i she's like i just want to go like i don't want to be here anymore like i don't and i'm like same like i don't it's, want it's, to it's a job out here bro that you know all the content creators and everything come out here yeah they, they gotta stay on it they gotta stay on it and yeah. i think that was our issue was we try to stay on it but at the same time, losing what we were actually wanted to do. And you I, was get, like, I was like, dude, just take a fucking break. Yeah, you like, get caught up with it. Like, I realized just being in L.A., there's so many fake people. Like, they want to be someone, someone, like, on TikTok and on YouTube and whatever. Like, but they're just, and they're doing it. And they don't even know who they are because they're just putting up this front for so long. That's who they think that they are. Yeah. And then you meet these people and they're just like, and I'm like, there's like nothing. It's just blank. I'm like, you have so much, like where is your soul? Yeah. <laughs> and so like, I find myself, I'm like, I don't want to be around that shit. Like, that's not who I was meant to be. Like, and I can be my authentic self on TikTok through my life coaching, like on virtual. Yeah. Like I don't need to be in LA. Like I don't need to be with like, you know, you can fulfill your purpose without really being here. Yeah. Without being in the area where everybody thinks. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like I tell her, I was like, dude, I like, I love the quiet. I love being yeah, in quiet too. areas. And just a country, like I want to be like with grass and animals and quiet. And we're going, we're gonna go buy a ranch in like Colorado and just escape yes, everybody. yes. I'm gonna go visit. <laughs> Brittany wants like ten horses. I'm like fuck. Yes, <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> we're gonna get a horse and get a pig out there. Yes, that's Love the water. best. That's but the best. That's family right there. Yeah, just created a family. But it, I think it's just finding your inner peace. Like, yeah, obviously you're doing everything you're doing. And then coming back to the to the zone where like no one touches you, yeah. where you can be, you can just let go, let go, let God, let go, let God. You know, is that I always think how you said outside of this, everybody sees it a certain way. Yeah. And we always have our zone, like we always say, the gym, our house, um, being with friends. 
but we will we let ourselves really be us like our emotions that we just bottle like the stress that comes with everything i need that moment i need that i need to let go i need a reset i always call it a reset yeah i always tell people that yeah i'm like you need it i'm like dude take take a fucking hour reset i'm like take a fucking week take a fucking month a fucking year (laughs) but just don't complain yeah like after that like you're there's always a solution to every little fucking thing just go be you if people don't want to stick around if people are hating if people don't aren't loving you the right way let fucking go let them be. They'll find it out one day that they re- that they fucked up. Yeah, it's out of your control. Yeah, like, you know they have they all have their own karma. It's they, like you won't have to deal with that shit. Oh, man. Your fucking energy, bro. You know what I mean, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what? It's, leave us with a a favorite fucking quote or a quote a that someone's gonna help. Quote? If someone comes and asks you, like, "Hey, Jackie, I really need help in this. What's your fucking?" <sighs> Hey, come on. This is this. I'm going to tell you this and I hope this helps you. I mean, I don't know. I feel like the only thing that I have learned this year that has stuck with me forever is just not taking anything personal. Like, and when I mean this, like when people flake on you, when people like tell you, oh, they want to hang out and then they don't. Or when people like tell you something mean or people judge you or whatever, like, Dude, like, don't even stress about that shit. Like, or when someone does you wrong, when you're talking to somebody and they do you dirty or, like, they leave you hanging, they leave you on red, like, them shit, like, it has nothing to do with you and your worth and your capability. Like, it's them and their own problems. And, like, they don't know. You can only know other person, another person, deep enough. Like, I don't even know how to say this. You can only be as deep with somebody else as you've been with yourself as deep as you've been with yourself right so you're trying to like have this intellectual conversation with somebody and they're not there they're just not there yet like they don't even know you know what i mean so just don't take anything personal like shit is like they're just not there yet you know you're above here and they're here but they'll get there eventually it has nothing to do with you damn yeah that's that's yeah it's changed my perspective for sure oh man I appreciate yeah. you fuck yeah. coming in with this fucking energy yeah. one last time, bro. <laughs> thank one you of, for one of the me. many. No, thank you, uh, bro. If you haven't listened, got to check out season one. She was there telling us her story at 12 a.m. with the energy that she has right now. Yeah. You got to like, Always. share, subscribe to the channel because we are going. But, yes. dude, a little toast with your agua and with my bang. Yes. <laughs> toast. Well, toast. I appreciate you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Toast to life. Remember. Oh, 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 oh,